ALS is eating away at Gloria Taylor's body. It's the burden of being diagnosed with a degenerative disease. On Friday, this frail woman played a historic role, hoping to strike down the law that bans assisted suicide. Taylor is the only person in Canada who can legally request a physician-assisted suicide. The majority of people in Canada have spoken. At the end of their lives, they want to die peacefully, not screaming in pain and not with the government in their bedroom telling them how to die. The B.C. Supreme Court rulings as a ban on doctor-assisted suicide infringes on the rights of the disabled. The Kelowna resident is restricted to her wheelchair and needs a feeding tube and is slowly losing her voice. The ruling was suspended for a year so lawmakers could make changes to the legislation. Taylor was given an exemption to the year-long suspension, which allows her to make the decision about her future immediately. I live one day at a time, and I'm not there yet. I'm still here for a living, and I hope for a long time. Um, when it's time, it's God's will, not mine, and I'll leave it at that. But the government may not. So far, Ottawa says it's going to study the ruling, but most expect it to appeal. The Archdiocese of Vancouver has already called the ruling dangerous. Some medical organizations also feel the decision is flawed. We are extremely concerned about the situation of elder abuse, which is a major issue in Canada. If we can't detect it now, how are we supposed to detect it? when the stakes are raised by the existence of assisted suicide and euthanasia. The question as to whether or not there is a significant risk of abuse, the answer to that is no, and this is indeed what has driven to a large extent the, the, the judgment, the court finding, because the judge actually evaluated what happened in jurisdictions that have decriminalized, and she found that there is no significant risk of, of abuse. In 1993, Sue Rodriguez lost her challenge to the physician-assisted suicide law in the Supreme Court of Canada. If the government appeals, it may argue that the Rodriguez case overrides Friday's decision. Whatever the outcome, Gloria Taylor's legal victory could potentially impact thousands of Canadians. I would hope that they would just let it go and not appeal it. That they would just be big enough to say, yeah, this isn't right. This isn't right. We can't expect people to die in, in, in horrible deaths.